the American Eagle has landed in Topeka. I didn't even believe that it existed anymore. The second of only two known American Eagle Laverda jump bikes remaining used by Evil Knievel. The ride here spans nearly 50 years. You hear the term barn find all the time. This literally was in a barn. Jump back to 1972 and a young Dave Stroop back home in Montana from serving overseas. So as soon as I drove by, I saw the red, white, and blue and the stars and stripes. And I, yeah, that caught my attention right off the bat. And when I bought it, he said it was Evil Knievel's old bike. Well, at that particular time, it doesn't resonate really high at that time because he was just starting to get up there. Dave rode it from time to time. Yeah, I did a wheelie or two on it myself. Then, in 2001, he met Evil in Sturgis. I said, well, I, he told me it was your bike. I want to know if it is or not. And he says, yes, it is. Still, Dave kept it mostly quietly stored in his rural Montana barn, but word was spreading around the annual Evil Days Festival, where Lathan McKay displayed the collection that would eventually become Topeka's Evil Knievel Museum. And he walks up again wearing the same leather vest, and he goes, hi, I'm Dave Stroop. I've got, <laughs> Evil, I've got Evil Knievel's American Eagle. And I said, I've been looking for you for three years. Funny. Even when we went to, the, to Mr. Stroop's house and we walked up and saw the bike, I just couldn't believe what I was seeing. Oh, my God. And it was pristine. This one here is totally original from top to bottom. It's incredible. Lathan convinced Dave to allow Louis Ray, a professional daredevil himself, to restore the bike for display in the museum. After all that time, you know, it's kind of hard to let it go out of the garage. And I figured, you know, it, maybe it's time to put it out there and let other people see it. To, to add this bike to the museum that everybody can come and see and enjoy, uh, I'm, I, I'm so privileged. I'm so privileged to be trusted with this project. A project with a story that's a bit of folklore itself, fitting for the legend that is Evil Knievel. That's the whole point of the museum. That's the whole point of everything. It's about making people feel good. and reliving exciting moments. I mean, especially now with the condition of things, you know, we all need something to really inspire us.